This that you see here is not made up. This that you see here is real. This is just a small portion of people that have confidence to come out and demand for their people. Thousands of Ugandans were abducted. Many were killed on spot and left for dead. Very many disappeared and they've not been seen since. Ladies and gentlemen, especially the international community that supports the Museveni regime, now you know that General Museveni is running a criminal organization called NRM. Now you know that Museveni is running a terrorist state in Uganda. In your own description, terrorism is ruling over people by causing terror and extreme fear to them. Now you know that Museveni's regime is a terrorist organization. These people, up to today, are missing people. Their fathers, their brothers, their sons, their loved ones were taken away and they've never been seen again since then. We are here once again to reassert our voices and to tell Museveni and his fellow criminals that bring back our people. 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 Mukomiewo abantu wa fe. Mukomiewo abantu wa fe. All these people were abducted because they supported the opposition. Many of them were abducted and the claim was that they were putting on a beret like the one I'm putting on. And I challenged those cowards to arrest me too. Those people who were arrested were arrested for supporting me. Why don't you arrest me? Therefore, why don't you take me away too, you bloody cowards? Why don't you arrest me for wearing this beret and charge me in the court of law, you bloody coward, you old coward? Why do you have to kill people's children? Why do you have to cause such pain to people? You have families too. You have children too. Why do you have to take us through this? After you killed more than half a million of our people, we paid enough price. Why does this have to happen in 2022? Ladies and gentlemen, we hold Museveni personally accountable because Museveni, in one of his lousy addresses during the COVID time, he came out and owned these people. Museveni read out the names of many of these people and said they were holding them but that was the last we heard about them Museven himself came out and said his son and his criminal gang called SFC was responsible for abducting these people that was the last they talked about them JJ Odong came out and read out these names on the floor of parliament and confirmed that they have these people that is the last we've heard about them. Bring back our people. 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 Just yesterday, I was talking to a young man called Sari Abdul. He's one of the people that was lucky enough to return from those terrible dreaded safe houses. He told us sickening stories. He was arrested, he was abducted together with his brother. His brother was killed. He was beaten so bad and he succumbed to his injuries. His brother was burnt down in a drum as Abdul was watching. These and very many horrifying stories are ongoing in our country. A country we all call home, ladies and gentlemen. Chibalama John Bosco was my neighbor in Seta. He would walk to my house. I would walk to his house. They abducted him from Chadondo East. 2019, we have never seen or heard from him again. Bring back our people. Bring back our we people. We say bring back our people. Bring back our people.
Ladies and gentlemen, especially you, the international community, we address you because we want you to know that the situation in Uganda is very many times worse than Idi Amin. Musa 